Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Unavowed. We're here in the headquarters of the Unavowed, and I think we're probably going to get either a big law drop or progression with the story in this episode, because we're about to speak uh, with the leader, I believe, of the Unavowed, who is in here. Wow, check this place out. A colourful painting of a mother and child. Oh, is that uh, Mandana? Could well be, right? And, and the mum? What's this? A ship and a bottle. So there's a lot of pirate themed stuff here. So seems the mum was potentially a pirate. Uh, what, is, what else have we got in here? There's a door that leads down the street. An ornate lamp glowing gently. A blue green crystal glowing with a mysterious inner light. God, I love the music in this place. It's brilliant. A fine selection of aged spirits, mostly scotch. This bottle emits a faint hum. And we've got the uh, the fire here as well. I love the fire animation. And we've got an impossibly old, impossibly muscled, and impossibly blue man <laughs> gazes into the fire. Let's speak to this man. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're the new one, aren't you? Yes. Uh, it was either this or get arrested. Yes, I'm here to join the unavowed. You're blue. <laughs> I, I'm tempted to do your blue, but I feel like this is not not sort of a comical game as such so we'll leave the comical ones nobody thing. joins the unavowed girl we serve it we are the wall against the darkness as for me i am kalash, kalash. i am a jinn of the ancient kingdom and i run this branch of the unavowed and you you were possessed how would you let that happen uh i didn't exactly let it happen it was a book i touched it and then sloppy Sloppy. Such a thing would have been unthinkable once. It would. In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. I mean, we didn't really know, Mundanes did we? Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft. Needs toughening up. How tough are you, new girl? Uh, I... Don't know. I turned a bar. I've broken up more fights than I can count. I stopped that monster in the alley. I got hit by lightning yesterday several times. I mean, we did stop the monster. Yes. While its back was turned, a child would be victorious in those circumstances. Wow. No, no. You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh, yes. It will come. At any rate, we have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in. Talk to the others. Get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> he's not very easy to impress, is he? Jeez. Okay. I mean, is the meeting going to be ready? Because we have talked to the other guys, but maybe we need to go back to them now that we've spoken to him. I get the feeling he's. T yes. Uh. Okay. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Yeah, I get the feeling that he's quite tough, but actually will be a nice guy once we get to know him, sort of thing. Anything else to say to uh, Eli here? Hey, what's up? Um, no. Okay. Right. See you around. Okay, so get a lay of the land. We sort we've sort of done that a little bit. It doesn't actually look like we can go back upstairs. So maybe we just go back in and talk to him again. Hmm. What is it? You ready to start the meeting? Yeah, we are, yeah. Uh, let's ask some questions first, though. Can we talk about the Unavowed? I might know a thing or two about that. Okay, what does the Unavowed do? We're the wall against the darkness, the protectors of the mundane world. We might not be what we once were, but we are here, and that is all that matters. Yeah, I suppose so. How long has the Unavowed been around? Nobody knows for sure. Not even I. But this branch is exactly 393 years old. I know because I founded it. Wow. Okay, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> That's gratitude for you. Used to be, you mundanes would beg us for help if a cat looked at you funny. But yes, I won't deny it. Supernatural threats became fewer and further between over the last century. There was little reason for mundanes to think of us at all. But things have changed. You founded this place? Yes. This city was becoming a force to be reckoned with, with the supernatural forces to match. There was important work to be done. I volunteered, and here I am still. Okay, changed? Yes. 
Supernatural threats have risen exponentially. It's been difficult to contain. We need to fill our ranks. You are the first in a long line of many, I hope. Maybe. I wonder what's been behind this big increase, though. Something's got to have caused it, well, right? Spit it out. Okay, I'd like to ask you about some people we know. I do not indulge in idle gossip. If you want to know of someone, ask them. Fair, okay. About last night, not then. now. My opinion will be given during the meeting, rest assured. Fine. Call the meeting, then. Indeed. The time for waiting is past. Here we go. Father, you met our latest recruit? Yes. I admit she doesn't look like much, but we'll see what this life makes of her. We were all neophytes once, Galash. Most of us, Mage Beckett. Most of us. Okay, I'm right here, you know. So, what are we talking about? No, let's keep quiet and wait. I have read the reports on your last mission. Mage Beckett, is it true you summoned a void creature? Yes, by accident. I swear. Irrelevant. Magic is unpredictable. I understand this. What I don't understand is why you killed the thing. A sentient being whose only crime was being summoned by you. I was going to eat people. We had no choice. That choice has consequences. Word will get back to its people. There will be a reckoning of some kind. I hope the two of you are prepared to deal with it when it comes. So it seems like maybe we, uh, we shouldn't have done that. That may be, but you had no authority over them. It was their choice to make. True. Father, regardless of our choices, the Void Creature is gone. We have a more pressing concern. Yes, you let the demon escape. Your mission was a failure. Uh, they saved me. I wouldn't call that a failure. Wait, the demon is still out there? Saving you was a side objective nothing more saving people isn't a side objective sir and how many might now die because you let the demon escape yeah good question i was so close i had it contained but it was stronger than i expected i see this is becoming distressingly commonplace nevertheless eli speaks the truth we underestimated the threat then that will have to be sufficient. And now to the next item at hand. Your next mission. Ooh, okay, here we go. All right, my first mission. So, so you know, let's just keep quiet you again. You don't say much, do you? Well, well, that needs to change, starting right now. I mean, it can change. I have detected void activity in the East Village, somewhere close to Aster Place. You are to travel there, determine the cause of the disturbance, and neutralize it. Okay. Uh, void activity? Activity from beyond the void. Do try and keep up. But we're learning here. Are you here, sure man. she's ready to go out into the field so soon? These are dangerous times. Dark forces are coming. We don't have the time for traditional training. If she isn't able to handle it immediately, we might as well kill her now. Um. Trial by fire. Sink or swim. Do or die. You want to prove yourself to the unavowed new girl? Now yeah. is your chance. Fine. Meeting adjourned. Well. Wow. Oh, cool. Well, I guess that settles that. So who's in charge? Trial by fire? I guess we should get going. Who is in charge? None of us. Right. Yeah, we're a team. Try not to forget that. Anyway, we're ready when you are. Yeah, I, th I, th I think we're probably ready. Eli is trying to hold back a grin. He's clearly amused Anytime by you're something. Ready. Okay. Mandana's eyes dart impatiently towards the door. Okay, let's head out. Our first mission. Click to choose your destination. Looks like the K-Train is down. Again. Okay, so we choose... Eli, the K-Train was discontinued in 1988. Okay, he's reading a was book. It? I could swear I took it to the Museum of Natural History not too long ago. <laughs> you did. In 1986. <laughs> I wonder how much dialogue you get between these oh. two. So, I guess we won't be taking the K-Train. I guess not. Right. Astor Place Station. Oh, cool. This is a nice little angle. Wow. Very bright. It's dark in this room, so that's blinded me somewhat. Manhattan, Astor Place, 8.30pm. Hmm. Still raining. Yeah. Looks like this building site was abandoned not too long ago. To kill us. 
Well, oh. the night is young. We can ask them to do things by clicking on them up here. That's interesting. Mondana is relaxed but moving with purpose. Her eyes are alert for any sign of trouble. Eli casually takes in his surroundings, pausing occasionally to glare at the graffiti. Uh, the Alamo sculpture, aka the cube. It's been here as long as you can remember. The street leads further eastward into Alphabet City, and that goes back down to the station. Let's talk to these yes. guys. Uh, what do you know about this area? You call this neighborhood the village. I came of an age when that term actually applied. The street, <laughs> it was a long dirt road. Homes were palatial estates and were few and far between. This city was larger back then, and yet so much smaller. But let us not dwell on the past. Time marches on. We must march with it or be left in the dust. Okay, what should we do next? I would suggest we explore. If there is void activity here, we will find it. Or, most likely, it will find us. Fine, okay. Agreed. Let's move on. Anything for Eli to say? How are you staying so dry? I bet it's magic, Ancient right? Ancient fire mage secret. Yeah. Well, no, not really. I just make the water evaporate before it hits. <laughs> it's a simple trick, but handy on nights like this. I could do with that in real life. So what do you think we should do? We've barely left the subway. We need to explore a bit. See if we can find the source of the void activity. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, we'll talk I later. I have the feeling we will. Let's uh, let's have a look around and see what we can uh, what we can find. So I guess we go down this street here. <gasps> What's this? You seem troubled. Is something the matter? This, uh, maybe we should walk around the block. There's a cop there. I'm a wanted criminal. Shouldn't I be wearing a disguise or something? Whatever for. You have nothing to fear. Not with the veil in place. Ah. Okay. Uh, veil? What veil? Yeah. It became active when you signed up with us. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. Cool. You're not the first new recruit to arrive with complications in the mundane world. Okay. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. Uh, great. Wouldn't want things to be more awkward than they are, so nobody I know will recognize me. Nobody in the mundane world, no. The veil only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the void touch can see through it easily. But that law enforcement officer, he will pose no threat. Awesome. Okay, um, got it. Let's go. No, there's nothing else. Let us continue, shall we? We shall indeed. So, we've got a building that's been reduced to cinders quite recently from the look of it. Uh, we can go back that way. Anything else going on here? So, we can talk to the cop and he won't recognise us. Or well, we can continue going along. I mean, this feels like a good place to investigate first, right? Evening, ma'am. Good evening. What happened here? Who wants to know? Uh, bartender, just making conversation. Yeah, no kidding. This job can really take it out of you sometimes. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work, but it takes a special kind of nasty to torch a homeless shelter. A homeless shelter? This was a homeless shelter? Yeah, a neighborhood full of corporate chains and they attacked this place. Was anyone hurt? A few people killed. A lot of people with second or third degree burns. Ooh. That is horrible. I won't argue with that. I was here when the rescue team arrived. They were carted off to Beth Israel Hospital. The people here, they don't exactly have medical insurance. Yeah. Uh, are you sure it was arson? That's how we're treating it. Until we know otherwise, we're treating it like a crime scene. Which means, stay back. Okay. So it looks like by being a bartender at the beginning, we get options to encourage dialogue between people. So potentially the other classes, if you want to call it that, would have other options, which is quite cool. Rough night to be out. Yeah, you could say that. Wouldn't be here if I had the choice, believe me. Okay, well, I better be going then. I don't blame you. See ya. Can we get in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's just check that there's not anything else. Okay. Well, let's head further east then, see if there's anything this way. Hey, are you alright? You look a little... Oh, God. What's going on? Is it a flashback? Where are you taking me? Uh, this building's a safe place. I'm taking you out of the cold, that's all you need to know. I need your help, you need mine. Perhaps we can help each other. Is this when we were possessed? I'll do whatever you want. Just help me. Please. Mm, okay. 
Did you see that? I did. Neuromorphic projection. I've read the theories, but never thought. I think she's coming out of it. Are you all right? What just happened? You blacked out, just for a minute, but... You had a vision. We saw it as well. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past. Huh. This area must have kick-started your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. We could see it too. Uh, okay. Oh, Lord, no. Pure audiovisual output only. This building the demon entered. It used to house the village eye. The newspaper? Didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? Uh, huh. no idea. Agreed. We are wasting time. Right. Enough jabbering. Let's go. All right, then. I guess we're going to go in there. But we will do that in the next one because we're out of time. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.